What's up, YouTube? I don't know how to do this. Makeup. <laughs> this is so shiny right here. You Should I fix myself? Oh. I feel like you guys made these questions specifically for me. What is that? What is bio data? Oh. You mean like the ones in matrimonials? That bio data? Yeah, like shadi.com bio data. Hell yeah, of course I know what that is. So anytime your mom is gonna give your rich dad to some family, mm -hmm. they need your bio data. Straight up. Rich dad, rich dad, rich dad. Or your future mother-in-law. Yeah, exactly. Every like kitty party she goes to, she at least like handed out to all the single girls there. You know how usually you have a resume to get a job? A bio data is basically how to get a chick. It's like the LinkedIn of dating for brown people. Yes. When you want to like impress a suitor. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking for rich we're not looking for hookups. Yeah. My mom for forwards me then, so. Your bio data is everything your parents think you are, but usually it's not. I never knew I even had one until like when I opened my dad's computer and I was like, what is this? First of all, I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> do you have do you have a bio data? Do I have a bio data? Yeah. No, I what would you what would you include on your bio data? So definitely a college degree, most definitely a graduate degree. You have to sell yourself, right? So your career is like your main thing. So if you have like, you know, you're a doctor, then yeah, that's pretty much you're, you're set. We're definitely putting on there if they're a doctor, an engineer, or a lawyer. <laughs> doctor, lawyer, engineer, or other. And if you select other, that bio data is gonna thrown up. I would 100 percent fake my grades. Like I was an A plus yeah. student all the way through. Like my hobbies and interests? Depends on what your hobbies and interests are. I like to go kayak. They have kayaking is interesting. It means you're athletic, but not too athletic. You are everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, like the stay at home and sell. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, your best qualities, because we don't want people to know what we're not good at. Um, a fake height. If you're if you're not that tall, then you want to leave that out. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. don't mention that. You would hold mental health status, but that's, that's never. Right. Definitely things that should be on there never right. are not. They would probably like leave out that they have like multiple personalities and stuff. What language you speak? That you're fair. Look very beautiful. Very beautiful. Very fair skin. Skin color is that still a thing on bio data? Like I don't know. I really hope not. Oh Lord, I hope there's no skin color on there. Your skin color is definitely a thing, and it's basically a resume on paper. I don't know. That. A resume on paper. Res yeah, like. I have a nice beard. <laughs> that will probably be one. Definitely, if you've ever had any kind of previous uh, dating experience, that's not on there. By the way, this is everything that's happened in my past. Like they don't hey, care. Like you hide it, boy. You're definitely single, a virgin, never, ever, ever dated anybody. Oh no, I don't drink. I, I drink. Oh no, I don't go out past nine o'clock. Like no, I go out at nine o'clock. So I literally got a WhatsApp of four pictures and like all this information, like every family member of his, like time of birth and like all this stuff. <laughs> time um, of birth. Yeah, time of birth. Come from a good family, which means that uh, like everybody's got money. Because when you get married, you're not just marrying like someone else, you're like marrying their family. They included a lot of information about the dude's parents, especially his dad and his grandparents. They gave him the grandparents? Why? Yeah, I don't know. We need to get cast off of there if that's still on there, part of our family. Oh, background. yeah. That should be removed. Who needs to go. Is there what food you make? Like, I really hope not. Like, I really hope people are not like, I make round chapatis. Education, like what you can make in the kitchen, like. Well, I'm not putting my weight. Bro, they're gonna be like, <laughs> or maybe that helps. Cause they're like, oh, this boy needs to be fed. They're all amazing cooks. Um, and uh, usually like their they're, like, uh, star sign is on there. Can't cook. Can't, I can. I made butter chicken the other day. Okay. Okay, but doesn't clean for her. No. Someone needs to clean up if I'm making butter chicken. I'm a good listener, so I'd like to include that. I make some banging chai. Like, I'm nice with the chai. Like, my mom, trainer. You feel me? So, I've been making chai for a long time. Future mother-in-law. <laughs> I make really good chai. <laughs> Do you believe that women make 75 cents to a dollar? Because I need to know that up front before we continue. Yeah. There's like some dude in like Queens that's like writing all these like bio data for everybody. And they just like like Xerox and just like copy and just like insert a name here. <laughs> now? No. No. I, although I don't know this now. Well, I don't know who now is, so maybe. Definitely not. Considering I just heard his name, I would say no. <laughs> I don't know who Nav is. He's the guy from Toronto. Like the rapper? Like Drake's friend? Yes. 
<laughs> I love Nav. In, in, in what terms? Define poppin'. Nav is the first brown boy to pop pills, maybe, but... He's the first brown boy to get a poppin' only because he got so big. From an American standpoint... And he's a rapper, like a, like a mumble rapper type of... He hangs out with Drake. He does hang out with Drake. I think is that's the only criteria. Right? That's it. There, done. No, no, he's not. But then again, he doesn't really like rap. You know what I mean? He's not like a rapper. I don't think he really puts brown people on though. Not even everybody knows he's brown until they look at him, yeah. like a picture of him. Other than the fact that he mentions himself as brown, I don't really think he does a lot for like brown culture. Oh yeah, that got kind of a lot of hate, bro. I know some people who got took offense to that. First brown, brown boy to get it popping. I, I think Aziz Ansari was the first brown boy to get it popping. Yeah, I think for me it would be Aziz Ansari because I saw him on like Community. I was like, hey, this guy's brown and he's like in this show. He's doing big and then he became a comedian. The OG for me is probably Cal Penn. That's like, that's the OG brown boy. Like, I'm gonna say Russell Peters is the first brown boy to get popping. I feel the first brown boy to get it popping was Mahatma Gandhi. I think he's, he's dope, he's a trendsetter. Shark Khan, brown boy, popping before him, still popping now. People know Bollywood because of Shark Khan. If Bollywood sing, we have like Yo Yo Honey Singh, Bacha, these guys. Mickey Singh, no! Too. Mickey Singh gets it popping. Zayn Malik? Before Anik. Anik Khan gets it kind of popping. Yo, yeah, facts though, big facts though. Man, and Ron Khan was the first brown boy to get it popping. The first thing that I thought of was Bohemia. Bohemia, right? Is that his name? Like that's who I think of who was like in like the rap space first. Bohemia, Das Racist. First of all, Das Racist has been out on the scene since I was in high school. Punjabi MC. What about Jay Shot? But she was Juggy D, like they're all brown boys. They all had it popping. Jay Shot, oh my god. I've listened to Jay Shot since like way back in the day before he started with Down and do you remember and all that stuff? Yo, Raghav. You remember Yo, Raghav, Raghav back in the day? Then it was Jay Shot, but Raghav paved the way. Yeah, definitely. He doesn't get props. He does it. I don't know. Apache Indian is the first brown boy to get it popping. But what's what's the intention of saying that? That's what we gotta break down. Like, I think music rap wise, like trap wise, trap trap wise, more niche. We're going more niche. I think that song was with the weekend. I'm not sure, but he's like, you know, I'm with the weekend. That's why I'm popping. You know, like. He's in that crowd. He's the first brown boy to get it popping in that crowd. Like all respect to Nav, but like you shouldn't feel like you're the main I guy. Guess. I feel like that's just like ego is not a good thing. I feel like so many brown artists these days, they're just trying to make it to the mainstream, but I don't think it's healthy for any of them to try and claim to be the first. Plus, it's really easy to say that you're the first, right? Because there's not a lot of us out there, so and there's four of you, so I guess you could <laughs> be the first. Why not? Lots of brown boys have got popping in before him, lots of brown boys are gonna get popping after him. Everyone should aspire to, to Nav's level like of popping. Success. Allegedly. They just literally like get possessed. They look like they're on Molly. Yeah. Like the moves that they create. So, da, 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 da. It's always the uncle that you would never expect to be dancing, but this is his one opportunity to shine. So first of all, he's bringing in everybody like it's a rope, like it's a tug of war. <laughs> and then you see the uncles and like on the outside waiting for their like their the time moments to shine. like going. They're like leaning towards the circle like I can't. Literally starts looking like he's doing jumping jacks and I was like, <laughs> I, I'm just like, you've taken your shirt off and now you're doing jumping jacks in the middle of the dance floor. I don't know what to make of this. The move is like this and it's like, even more, all of the body is involved. Uh, the, the finger guns, like, With the shoulder. Ooh, all right. And then sometimes they put their hands up and they're like, shava shava. My Afghan side, we do the, they do the big circle and they go up, they clap and stuff. That's it. No one in my family knows how to dance. But Guyanese uncles really like to dance with the glass on top of their head. And then just like goes like this. And just dances around. Real glasses too, <laughs> not that plastic cup. But he was like putting his belly out and he was like, oh. <laughs> he was like this. It's like a twerk while they're doing this. They like do, yeah, yeah. They do this thing. I don't know what this is, but they do a lot of that. And then they look up. And they look, they look down. Like the shoulder shrug? Yeah, I see the bumper up. Auntie move. You know the aunties do this? Like something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's her, that's her favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I love it. It's the best. So I grew up where there was zero dancing. Like literally. Like it was like it was like taboo. And then out of nowhere, Dino Mama is like. Chalo, 
एक सॉन्ग तब बनता है हो too much toe, too much finger. Every time, like she sees me and she's like, none of your close-up sleeves. Like, oh my God, Sabrina's showing her arms. And I'm like, wow, I have such a bad character for doing that, I'm sorry. So when I got my ears pierced, my mom flipped out. I used to like freak out my parents when I was a kid. I used to get like temporary tattoos. And that like worked a couple times. But yeah, I got I got beaten every time. Or like if I have my tattoo showing, oh, oh that's, that's, that's just. Yeah. If I, when I first got my tattoo, I had definitely had a couple of looks. They also don't like shorts. Oh, like they cannot go above the knees. And like, they but in general, it's just general, like yeah. it's just very like immature to wear shorts. Even if I wear pants, they're like you look like a guy, and I'm like okay, but like now I'm in a short dress, and they're like don't go out looking like that. A couple of times I've gone to India, it's like over 100 degrees in India. You're wearing shorts, not like skimpy blue shorts, but like shorts right above your knee, and I get like oh, like why are you trying to show off your body? Like, why are you trying to do that? And the typical, like, oh, you're, like, that kind of comments from, like, family members, because if you're not, like, the scrawniest person ever, then you're not the typical Indian girl. Because I'm a slightly bigger girl is to dress more appropriately and for, for my size. I am more thicker than some girls. And because of that, that means that if I'm wearing, if there's me wearing a pair of leggings versus a girl who's wearing the same exact pair of leggings, it comes off as so much more inappropriate. But I'm wearing the same exact thing, so it's harder for me to be more modest, but in reality, I'm wearing the same thing. It's just, it looks worse on me. Wait, Emma, don't forget, when you bought your Selena Gomez shirt, oh, your mom, my was, mom. Like, was like, oh, bitch. Yeah, they're like, you're going to. Oh, that, that, that's the concert we're going to. Like, you're going to concert I have this one particular hoodie where it has like the devil on top of a, a demon on top of a girl. And it says, uh, look sweet, but the devil's in the details. And I posted that picture on Instagram. And my dad texted me, delete that picture off your IG. I'm not even kidding. I remember one time, bro, I was wearing like a ripped pair of jeans, right? And the back pocket was like semi-ripped. <laughs> Yo, I walked past my uncle. He literally took the pocket and just ripped it, bro. <laughs> and it came off my jeans. And I was tight, and I was like, yo, you know, y'all don't get fashion, bro. Like, this fashion, you know what I mean? A lot of random aunties will come up to you at yeah, like weddings and stuff and be like, oh, this dress isn't flattering. Like, you should have worn a different shape. And I'm like, who are you? <laughs> so they complain when I wear a sari. And then I don't. I'm like, 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 dress this. And they're like, oh, you don't understand your culture. So I'll shoot sometimes with like my blogger friends who are like hijabi, and my mom will be like, oh, look at her. She looks so good. And I'm like, oh, thanks, mom. Yeah. Um, Sindhi Pak Payagar, you know, why are you wearing this round turban, regular tangle, round turban? I dyed my hair, like, all blonde and platinum. Again, my mom was like, I live in Panayaka, couldn't it? Whenever I cut my hair, she's like, cut it more off, cut, just keep cutting it. Like, she doesn't, she hates that, like, I'm doing the fade thing. Aunties that, like, are looking for potentially a rich style for their daughters. They're like, Bitta, baal to kaat lo. They're gonna look decent. When I was first trying to get a job in accounting, they are like, you should dye your beard. Nobody likes long beard, you should dye it. So like, basically, they wanted me to have it like this. I didn't even stop at clothes, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny, because it would go on to makeup. Yeah, actually. And I never understood that, because I'm like, you know, my mom would be like, why do you have so much eyeliner? You're going to school. Who are you yeah. trying to impress? Dressing and like putting on makeup or doing whatever you're gonna do to your hair is like the biggest form of self-expression and someone robbing you of that, I think, is like the worst. Older people look at me when I dress sometimes. Like I always have that in the back of my mind. Like, is this gonna be okay? Is my grandma gonna not give me shit about this? You're constantly judged by like your family and like- Oh, and it's always like the second aunts, you know? Yeah, it's the like, aunties. People, yeah. yeah, it's like, like the aunties that ruin your life. Extended family and the epic cousin who tells their aunt 
their mom everything. Why does what I wear like mean I'm trying to attract something or someone or like be a certain way? Oh, well this person dressed this way and, and that's why, you know, when she was walking late at night, this is what happened to her. It's like, no, that's not what happened to her. Uh, another human came up and decided to take advantage of the fact that there is a person walking on a street. One time I was at a restaurant and this, my mom's friend's friend, friend recorded us, us at a restaurant. And she was like, look at what she's wearing. Yeah. And then my mom's friend's friend sent it to my mom's friend and my mom's friend sent it to my mom. Yeah. And my mom's like, bitch, I know. Like, so I was like, oh, thanks for having my back. But she had her back in front of like her friends, but like, the later was like, look what I have to do with because you are shaving us. <laughs> Life is too short to be policed on what you wear. Like that is, should be the least of anyone's goddamn concerns. I'm gonna wear what I want, everyone will be fine. The world will not stop. I was the first guy in my family to wear skinny jeans. So I literally remember I'd be walking around family parties and my uncles would be like trying to pull my pants down as a joke because they were like, I don't know what they were trying to do actually. Now that I think about, I think about why were they doing that? They're kind of uncomfortable right now, but yeah, that's weird that they were doing that, isn't it?